That was supposed to be like the intro to Star Wars, where there's the big Star Destroyer going over the camera. Anyway, food time! It's Burton Star Wars Biscuits. Mmm, what a lovely treat for man or boy. Yes, uh, I'm on a bit of a Star Wars kick at the moment, so expect many more Star Wars related things, including horrifyingly expired biscuits, because I don't bloody know. Yeah, these were released in... let's have a look at the bottom, I believe it tells you. Yes, 1997, um, by Burton's The Biscuit Men, um, in order to uh, part people from their money and uh, give them diabetes. I think that's how biscuits are made, I'm not entirely sure. Anyway, yeah, it was around the time they were re-releasing the original Star Wars films, in those special editions where they replaced all the bits we liked with walkie-talkies or whatever it is they gone done did. And they did package them in this rather nice collector's tin. Well, I say rather nice. Um, not entirely convinced by the faces on old Luke and Leia there. Um, Luke's had some sort of uh, bowl haircut thing going on. His gun looks about right, but Leia's gun is miles off. It looks like she's stolen hands and put a tiny little soldering iron on the end. Very, very strange. The sides tell you all about the films. A long time ago in a galaxy far, far away, it's the first Star Wars. And then, oh, the Empire Strikes Back, the battle continues, yay! And then the Empire Falls, all because of these people's song. Remember, the power of song is infinite. That is, of course, the ultimate story and moral of Star Wars. Um, yeah, there's also... this has gone kind of sticky and weird at the bottom. I was going to clean it off, but I thought, no, I shall leave it in the condition it was sent to me for added local colours. Make me feel a bit ill looking at it. Kind of wish I hadn't. Anyway, yes, none of these have been eaten, to my knowledge, so I can remove the horribly dusty top. And look, little biscuits. Now, my understanding is these are a bit like those animal biscuits you get, where, you know, the little uh, biscuits of chocolate on the back and they're very, very nice, except they've got, like, R2-D2 or something on instead. Speaking of which, here he is. It says his name on the back. Best before, end of February 1998. Absolutely tremendous. That's exactly what I need in me right now. It's got all your favourite ingredients, wheat flour, sugar, chocolate chips, emulsifier, whey powder, and all your favourite E-numbers, 450, 500, and 503. Mmm, 503. So yeah, you've got R2 in here, you've got a little hairy... Actually, this looks like a better quality Yoda. Yoda looks a bit weird. They've kind of coloured his hair in, given him a bit too much hair. It looks a bit like he's slowly turning into Wolverine or something, which would be an interesting plot twist. Don't get me wrong. Uh, C3PO is on here, looking... Yeah, that's, that's a very good picture. Actually, I like that. That's in my top three pictures of C3PO on biscuit packets. Definitely. Without question, in fact. There's Luke, looking all crumpled and weird. That's what happens when the dark side takes you. And that's it, it's just, it's just Yoda, R2, 3PO, and Luke. Hmm. Hmm. I was expecting some more characters, but no, there are no more characters. There's some rust though, that's nice. So, <clears throat> let's see what biscuits that are horrifyingly out of date look like then. I'm guessing they'll be pretty much as they were. Ooh. Oh, not. oh no! Do you know, for some reason I had it in my head that these were going to be like these shaped animal cracker biscuit things, but no. They are literally just little miscellaneous chocolate chip biscuits. Are they all looking exactly the same as this? Let's open one of the many, many Yodas. Um, dear Burtons, I would like to complain that there were too many Yodas in your Star Wars pack. These look a lot more, um, well, a lot less sort of furry and smashed up. Oh, there's some sort of white stuff growing on that one, that's nice. Um, I don't know if it's sugar that's come out of it. They smell mm, slightly not right, I would say. These smell less horrible than those ones. Hmm, science. Mind you, there's all some sort of white stuff in it. Right. I've, oh, go on then. I'm going to nibble off a small piece and probably regret it almost immediately. Here goes my life. Mm. Ooh. Oh god. It tastes like it's just converted back to the dough it was made from. Oh, you can like tasting oh it's awful. Oh. It's like licking the spoon when somebody else is making biscuits. Except it turns out their entire <coughs> batter was rancid. Oh. Oh, blimey. That that hit me <laughs> when I was trying to talk there. Oh. oh, yeah, they're not so good. So, you know, if you were wondering if massively out-of-date Star Wars biscuits are a nice thing to eat, I'm going to say no. I'm going to say very much no. 
Blimey, that was uh, a taste sensation. Well, I need some medicine after that, but thankfully Star Wars can help us with that, with these Star Wars multivitamins. 60 tablets, fruit-flavoured chewables. Now that, isn't that the same picture? No, it's not even vaguely similar, it's an entirely different shading style. Well, don't listen to me. I'm just a man. Star Wars Multivitamins, the new force in multivitamins. Aha! If you're not familiar with Star Wars, force is a hilarious pun because uh, Luke's maiden name was Force, Luke Force, before he married uh, Chewbacca Skywalker there. There we are, a bit of Star Wars knowledge for you. The pictures are quite nice, they're slightly creepy in the way that they're very realistic. I mean, it's not quite Alex Ross, but it's not far off. I've got to say, old Wicket in the middle there, though, oh my god, it's a bit like that gif where he's pulling a weird face and um, hassling that child in Caravan of Courage or whatever. Right, complete and well balanced. But that means nothing, what do you mean? Beta carotene and calcium, 11 vitamins plus vitamin C, more essential nutrients for strong growing bodies, delicious fruit flavoured chewables. So this is what you give your kids if they won't eat um, Good God. Sorry, I've just... I've never actually looked properly at the shapes on this before, and that's, um, yeah, there, there's something slightly frightening about this. Um, yeah, so this is what you give your kids if they won't eat their vegetables, and even after you've slapped them. My God, look, look at Princess Leia! It's like something from a Guillermo del Toro film or something. How is that, Princess Leia? Right, Chewbacca sort of makes sense. Yoda looks like the King in Yellow or something. Luke Skywalker, I... God, it's some terrifying homunculus. R2-D2, actually that's quite good, and Wicket the Ewok isn't bad. Slightly creepy, but not bad. My god. Tamper-resistant inner safety seal. Hmm. I think they were actually in a round bottle, I didn't realise that. Here's your proof of purchase. And it expired in December 1993. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Be beautiful. Hang on, if they expired in December 1993, the whole, um, you know, resurgence of Star Wars and re-release the films and that wasn't until, like, 95, was it? They didn't even have toys out in 90. Interesting. So it was just one of those Star Wars things that was always around. For years, I know the only Star Wars toys you could get were the horrible bendy things, which me and Alec will be looking at in a future video. New Star Wars multivitamins are today's powerful force in multivitamins. Complete and well-balanced. Each tablet contains the important vitamins. Look, just eat some fucking carrots and cabbage and get it sorted. Bloody hell. Suggested use. Adults and children. Oh, I like the way they put adults first. That's superb. Well, it's got some rose hips in it. Rose hips sounds like a sort of um, Shakespearean chat-up line, doesn't it? My, what a beauty she is! She has the hips of a rose. Surely she does. Um, right. It is indeed in a very uh, medicine-y sort of bottle. Hmm. Well, it's got robots on the front. Robots, of course, are not well known for eating anything or needing vitamins. Anyway! Ugh. Right, let's get the top off. That was disturbingly easy. Oh. Sealed for your protection. <laughs> you never knew how true that was when you made this, folks. Right. Oh god, of course it's all gone weird over the years, isn't it? Like, oh god, there's some cotton wool in the top. I'm not used to that in there. Is that an American thing? Oh! 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 Abandon health all year. Do you know I was going to nibble the corner off one of these, but now I've seen this, I think that would actually involve my death. As much as uh, many of you email me hoping I die every week, thanks for that, by the way. Nothing more than some nicer than waking up to 43 death threats for no reason. Um, I'm not actually going to implement that at this moment in time. Sweet goggly Jesus on a tricycle. Um, right, well, <laughs> let's pick the bones out of this one. That, that is apparently Princess Leia. My god, it's like an archaeological find, isn't it? This ancient civilization have carved these bas reliefs on the wall, but we do not know what they are. We think they tell the story of a battle amongst the stars. Um, yeah, what? Uh, uh, that, right, that, that's Princess Leia. Here's Chewbacca. Oh, actually, it doesn't look too bad through the viewfinder. It's awful into the naked eye, but we're getting some more detail out of that. Um, oh god, it's all going to be fingernails. These brown ones have really disintegrated into nothing. Ugh. Well, were they purple? No, I presume so. Grape flavour or something. I think it was Wicket. Once it was Wicket. Warwick, mate, if you're watching this, I apologise. You're not being represented well here. Uh, here's R2. No, that's Yoda. Here's R2. No, that's... I can't tell... Ah, right, this, this is definitely R2. We're going with R2 there. Um, yeah, that kind of looks about right. Um... Yeah, Yoda is looks more like a sort of hieroglyphic tablet or something, uh, rather than a sort of uh, multivitamin tablet. Can we find a Luke? 
Is is that? I think that might be a Luke. <laughs> this is like when you're taken around the British Museum as a child and you're really disappointed that everything's all smashed up. You know, my God. Um, oh, that is a horrifying, horrifying thing of badness. Oh wait, here's a slightly better wicket. There we are. We saved the day, Warwick, mate. Yay. Um, yeah. Well, do you know what? Damn it, I am going to chew the... No, I'm joking. I'm not going to. That would be death of all. Well, that was absolutely horrible. Um, I'm going to have to smell them now, aren't I? Ooh. Ooh. Wow, that's weird. Um, they smell of the sort of vaguely sugary, fruity stuff at first. Then you get that sort of weird... Um, do I describe it? Sort of weird dry smell you get from multivitamins and stuff. And then... Rot. Absolute rot. Well, thanks for that. Um, whoever sent those in, we bless you both. And uh, it's disturbing to think that this is kind of how penicillin was discovered, just with less character licences. My goodness, yeah, so, so we've got some anti-medicine and some horrible biscuits. What a lovely day it's been. And now I shall tackle something else, because uh, I've actually been getting some quite nice emails recently, which is rare for me. Um, usually I just uh, stoke the ire of the internet by existing or something. I think that's how it works. Um, yeah, but people have said, ah, oh, could we help the channel? Have you got a Patreon or something? And I'm like, no, nope, don't have anything like that, friend. That's very kind of you to offer me money for no reason, but uh, nope, we're doing all right from the AdSense at the moment. I could afford um, sofa cleaning fluid. Actually, I can't afford sofa cleaning fluid. That's why it's still got that black stuff on. But let's not get into that. If you would like to help the channel, there's actually two free ways you can do that at the moment. The first is to watch our film, Ashens and the Quest for the Game Child, which is free on YouTube. I'll stick a link down below, um, because I'd really like to get that to a million views. It's very close. It's at 975,000, which is astonishing. I mean, a, a huge number of films that are released theatrically don't get seen by anywhere near that number of people in this country. Well, probably the world over thinking about it. I don't know. I didn't look at the statistics. But yeah, um, it's good. Honest. It's got like 98.5% likes to dislikes, which is probably a good sign. And it's like a proper coherent film, not just like a load of weird sketches like a lot of these um, YouTube things are when they make them. We worked hard on it. And by we, I mean an awful lot of talented people who I will still probably never pay back properly in my entire life. But that's the way these things go. Sorry, please don't hit me. And the other way is if you've got Amazon Prime, um, and you live in, like, the UK, the US, France, Germany, I think, and Japan, inexplicably, you can currently watch Ideas Men on it. Uh, Ideas Men being a comedy series that's uh, entirely improvised so that me and uh, Damien Slash, a com comedy man, uh, produce every so often. There's two series of it. Uh, series 1 is currently on Amazon Prime. Series 2 will be coming on soon. They're also free to watch on YouTube, but if you watch them on Amazon Prime, it helps us in some nebulous way by getting numbers up, and then we can say to people, look, people have been watching this and then maybe they'll give us five pence to make some more. Anyway, there we are. That's the way you can help the channel, by doing absolutely nothing other than uh, watching some entertaining stuff for free. That's good, isn't it? Alternatively, you could just send me a diamond-encrusted aircraft carrier, but if you haven't got one of those around, yeah, help us for free if you like. Thank you for the nice emails. They are occasional and appreciated. I'm going now. Bye. <laughs>